Hi, Kate's Paper Creations here. And to um, make those of you that couldn't see my face, because I don't know how to do that, happy. Here is a picture of me right there. <laughs> so today we're going to make a card. And this is the card we're going to make. It uses the Lovely is the Day stamp set and the Lovely Leaves dies, both available as a bundle in page 115 of the annual catalog. And you can purchase those from me if you are interested. And I'm going to be using a technique that's new to me, obviously not new out there, but new to me, called Wax Paper Resist. And if you can just barely see it in the background, there's a little bit of, trying to get it so you can see it, of, of a pattern in that background. And I'm going to show you, share with you how I did that. There's a place online that I went to for some instructions, and it was called The Graphics Fairy, and I will put a link to her um, instructions in the comments below so that you can get that from there. Um, but I want to be sure and give her credit, The Graphics Fairy. And there's others out there, but that's the one that I used. So what you do is I cut a piece of wax paper, and you know, and just in general, we'll, we'll tell you how I did it. I cut a piece of wax paper, um, and I used, you double it, and I run it through the big shot through with a folder. So you put it inside the folder, and you emboss the wax paper with the folder. And I used for this particular design, the country floral embossing folder. And so I ran it through, and then you press it with an iron to melt the raised portions onto cardstock. Then you take a sponge or a brush, and I used a brush, one of these, and brushed the color on. And then you take a, a piece of um, baby wipes, and you wipe off the top so that the white comes through, and you end up with something that looks like this. And so that's the background that I used for my card. Isn't that pretty? And and you can use any embossing folder you want to, and it gives you a really unique look. So, it's going to be just a standard A2 card, uh, four and a quarter by five and a half, and I cut it out of Whisper White Thick, and then I'm going to attach this. Now, it does make it curl when you take the, use the baby wipe on it, but that's not the end of the earth, because we're gonna use glue, not Tombow, because when paper gets a resistance and it wants to pull up like that, your Tombow will not hold it. It will hold it for a while, but eventually the corners will start to peel up. So you don't want to use that. You want to use regular glue. And so I'm just using a regular liquid glue. My favorite is Eileen's Quick Dry Tacky Glue. And I'm just going to put it around the edges here. Like this. And a little bit in the middle. My glue is plugging up. So I'll get some in there and that's good enough and we will get it stuck down and because the glue is a little forgiving you can actually adjust the whether it's straight or not get all your sides there that looks good I'm going to turn it over and press it give it a chance to get set in place so I can press it good and hard. And I'm hoping my glue worked because it was having a hard time coming out. Once in a while, I have to stick my pokey tool in there and unplug the spout. But I think it's going to be fine. There we go. So there's the card front ready to go. Okay, set that aside. The next thing I did was cut out the rectangle. And for that, I used the rectangle stitched dies. That's these. And just so you know, I used the fourth largest. So from counting from the middle out, I used the fourth one. Okay? And I cut out a piece like this. I started with a two and a half by four inch piece. It's just large enough for this to fit on, for this die to fit on, without wasting a lot of paper. And so I started with that, and I cut it out. Okay? Then you're going to take this leaf die from the die set and you're going to cut that out of this piece and you're just going to lay it on there about like that as close to the top as you can get it turn that over because that's the right side like that and then you're going to run it through your big shot and you're going to end up with this 
with all those lovely leaves cut out but not detached. Isn't that cool? And so then I wanted the leaves to be green, as you can see on my card, and I don't want that background. So what I did is I took sticky notes and I'm going to put them in here and cover up the background however many I need. Are you seeing that okay? Yeah, okay. And we'll get them stuck in there. I need one more, I think. Just like that. Okay, then we'll kind of lay those down. And then I'm going to use another one of those brushes that I like. And um, I'm using um, Granny Apple Green. And so you can just push that brush right into the ink. And then just carefully brush the color on your leaves. Just like that. Don't worry about it being perfect in the shading, and, and that looks really nice when you do that. Okay, and we take up those sticky notes. They're reusable. I can save them and use them again later for all of us that are conscious about saving our shekels so we can buy more stamping stuff. Okay, so that's that piece ready to go. That's going to attach to the front of the card, and I just attached it flat with Tombow or Snail or whatever you want to call it in the background, and I just put just enough on it to hold it in place. You don't want to tack down those little leaves because you want them to stand up. And then we placed it. I kind of centered it from top to bottom, but set it to the side just a little bit. So it's not totally centered side to side, but from top to bottom it is. Let's get it where I want it. And that looks good to me. Okay, so there's that. Next, I took a strip of my out of my stash, and I'm going to cut out some of these leaves. This is another die, and this totally cuts out the whole leaf. So, I'm not sure if I'm staying in the picture. There we go. Um, so this cuts out the whole leaf. So what I did is I prepared the cardstock first. Again, I'm using that brush, and I'm just lightly brushing on the color, just like that. And again, don't worry about dark spots, light spots. It ends up looking really cool when you cut them out because then they all have different shading and everything. So that's what I did for that. And I cut out four of the leaves. And here they are. Now, I wanted to show you another little trick that I did because this is just like a bonus. <laughs> when I was cutting those out, I go, oh, well, that would make the neatest stencil. So I cut a little square or a rectangle of cardstock, and I cut one leaf right out of the middle. And look what you can do. Isn't that lovely? I can take and put this on and take my brush and just kind of dab like this. And there's another leaf. Isn't that awesome? So I'm sure there'll be a card coming using that technique. But nothing new, again, just something that I kind of discovered as I was going along. Okay, then I also cut out the sentiment circle and I used the stitch shaped framelits and I used this smallest circle and I just cut out one circle and I stamped it with the sentiment from the set that says go where your dreams take you. It's a little bit larger but I let the um, swirly here at the bottom of the U, word U, I let that just trickle off the page and kept the words centered as best I could and stamped them on so it ends up looking like that. And that's going to get dimensionals on the back. And I put my dimensionals away. There they are. And I just put a couple of them on there because that's going to go on there eventually. Okay. And then I also stamped with the flower that's in the set with Memento Black. I stamped this flower, and all I needed was just the flower part because in this, in this set, there's a die that will cut out just that flower top part, like that. So I stamped it here with Memento Black, and I cut it out with the die, and this is what you get. And it's got little 
um, the petals are kind of loose, so you can bring the petals up if you want to, which is kind of cute. Okay, next I stamped the center of the flower. Find my stamp, and it's disappeared on me. With, um, well, I'll just use this one, with Daffodil Delight, and I just put a little speck of yellow right there in the center. You see that? Isn't that nice? And that'll be part of what I'm using to build. Okay, so now we're ready to build the card. So here's the lovely background, and the first thing I'm going to put on is the sentiment. And I'm going to kind of place it so it covers up the bottom of that fern that's coming up. Yeah. And then these leaves, I just took and added a glue dot to them, to the base of them, and just tucked them in wherever I wanted them. And you can do the same. Put them wherever you want. And there's one. Let's get another one. I put it on the back side here. And I did get them up underneath enough that the sticky was covered up by the sentiment. Because you don't want that sticking out and then your card will stick to your envelope and that wouldn't be fun. And I think I'll put another one here. And then it needs another one. Down in here somewhere. Let's tuck that in there like that. So there's the leaves on there. And I didn't fasten them down. I left them like that. Then I've got the little um, flower to attach. And I attached it with um, just Tombow on the, on the very bottom of it. And in this top petal right here, I put a, a small glue, a small dimensional, a mini dimensional, because it's going to kind of go on and off of that sentiment, and that holds that other part of it up. And these I didn't stick down because I want to kind of leave them so that they'll float a little bit. And there's the card finished. Isn't that pretty? And I just love that wax resist background. It's something you'll have to look up and give a try. I really enjoyed doing it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to order from me, you can send me a message and I'll be in touch um, through private email. We'll talk to you later.